Okay, here's a brief demo of the new live sensor features that are built into Brick CC that I'm working on still. Let's go to the first well, go to the explorer tool. We're gonna go up a level. to sys and settings this is the file we're going to replace or we'll rename it as dot old then drag and drop a new version of that file over to the brick. This is an area of flash memory that's been copied to a RAM disk so we can modify it and then when we shut down the brick it will save it. So we're going to go ahead and shut down the brick in just a second. Well first of all we're going to use the screen capture tool to have a look uh, what shows up with the old so even though we've replaced that file it doesn't load that file you know, after the brick has started up it loads it when the brick starts up so it still has not loaded that file yet as you can see here it still says that, that sensor on port 4 is IIC byte so we're going to shut down the brick and then I'm going to pause the video and come right back after I've rebooted which takes a little while as you know so shut it down, stop pulling, and then I will pause and then, okay, it's back up now. Almost, I should say, back up, not quite. So, okay, now I'll start my connection again because it's back up. Go to screen capture, just verify that it is working again and we'll go back over to the let's turn on polling go back over to the port view application having restarted the brick it persisted the ram disk back to flash memory and then when you boot it back up it has loaded that settings file from flash so you saw that briefly it showed htir link i'm going to bring up the live sensors tool this will show all four layers if you have all four layers connected it hides layers that don't have any that either are not connected or have no sensors attached to them now you can see that uh, it's showing the IR link as the sensor type on port 4 actually it looks like I need to change the labels from 0 to 3 to 1 to 4 I think it would be better you can Polling here works a lot like for the screen capture, and as you, if you're polling, if you unplug a sensor, it'll go to none. Then you plug a new sensor in, it'll show the new sensor as you plug it in. So here I'm just demonstrating some different sensors that I've been plugging in. This is the IR Seeker V2, and I'm going to plug in the High Technic Color Sensor. and it should recognize that as well. This is the high technique color sensor as you can see there. That was the version one, just so you know. And we can switch modes here. This is an area that needs work. I need to improve that. But uh, so instead of showing mode zero through seven, it will show the mode names. But uh, with the brick, on an on brick app running it screws it up and that's what you saw there but now it's working so i'll go ahead and close that and that's the end of my video thank you